Let's now take a look at question number nine. We use the variable approach method to first modify the original condition. What we have is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. There are three variables, the three angles. We already have one equation here. So we need two more equations. Now with conditions one and two each giving us one equation, it's going to be likely that C is going to be our answer. C is actually going to be our answer, so let's see conditions one and two together. If we add the two equations given in the conditions, what we get is angle A plus angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 110 degrees plus 100 degrees, which is 210 degrees on the right side. Well, A B, C, those angles added together is going to be 180 degrees. What this tells us is angle A is 210 minus 180, which is 30 degrees. It's sufficient, and C is going to be our answer. Remember this variable approach method, which is currently the most recognized and efficient way of solving GMAT math problems.